Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Fool, and welcome back to Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, where we'll be continuing where we left off last time, where we had just gotten the Sensor Plus uh, upgrade, and so now I think we are ready to investigate this, I don't know, ruin, dragons, the stone dragon statues that we were told to check out. And so I came here about ready to head down there to look into it, when I saw... Our old friend over here, holding a sign. So I fear we might as well help him out first. <laughs> Although, are there any building materials nearby? Not that I see, actually. We've got some rocks, though, that I could probably grab. Usually there's... nearby supplies. Alright. <laughs> Can I help you out with just these rocks? Hmm. My guess is he's not going to consider this sufficient. Because the sign will still lean. Can't grab that one. Can I grab this one? No. And there really are no building materials nearby. Interesting. Well, you can try letting go and see if it works. On the ground? Oh. Yep, you are 100% correct. I should have just put a rock on that. Yep. Obviously not paying attention. Oh, come on. There we go. Hello? Uh, hello? There we go. Let go now. There you go. Perfect. Then we can actually move on to the quest we came here for. Ah! Alright, give me my 20 rupees. My piece of food. And something random. As always. Another sleepover ticket. I've got a lot of those. Alright. Back down to here. So I think the goal is to go into that cave there, then take a picture of the chest, because we are thinking that there... This looks like a Korok. No? Come on, a single rock in the middle of the place. Anyway, we're thinking that there are other chests scattered around that have the other pieces of this armor set in them. At least that's my theory. Treasure chest. So then if we go here and then censor from the compendium. Uh, materials, no. Equipment, no. Treasure. Chests. Target with sensor. The theory is somewhere around here, there should be more chests. 
in this general area, I think. Sensor's not picking up on anything yet, though. Away, you. Ow. Gotcha. Good dodge. Come on. There we are. Okay. Then continuing to search. Ah. There we go. Uh, Link? No, Link. Can you... Get off the cliff. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, he's gonna drown because... He's stuck on a cliff. You know, boo. Can you hit that? Thank you. So that's what we're looking for is these openings. No mural in this place. Okay. So there should be one more location that would have the chest piece, I think? I think I got the hat already. Don't really want to go underneath them, so let's come up top. Okay. No, thank you. Good stuff. Alright, back to what we were doing. Oh, I hear you. This way. Let's get back down here. Ah, that'll be it right there. Huh. Pull out a bladed weapon. Perfect. Alright, let's put the whole set on. I mean, it's definitely a very Zonai outfit. So does this protect me from electricity? I didn't actually pay attention. No. I do more damage if I'm in stormy weather. So it doesn't just protect me from their attacks. Probably be faster to have teleported, but oh well. We'll be there soon enough. Up here a bit. What was that thudding noise? Don't know.
Anyway, does this look closer to what you were expecting? Taro? Oh, I've seen those garments before. You look like you would have stepped right out of that mural. It's like I'm talking to someone from the ancient legends. No one makes discovery after discovery quite like you, Link. You've done it again. This is all so exciting. Oh. I think your discoveries have brought us a step closer to solving the riddle. That where the electric garb part of the code, it could be about the garments from the Age of Legends that you found. Mm. But that still leaves us with the other part. Offer a Zonai charge to the altar at the tail. What is a Zonai charge and this altar at the tail? What do we, where do we start looking for it? Could another tall dragon pillar be marking the altar site, just like the others you found? Okay, if we're talking about this as the monster in question, then this will be its tail. Uh, let's mark you actually with a pin that direction and hopefully there's something obviously Zonai shrine like not shrine as in like the shrine of lights but the pillar setup kind of reminded me of the pillars we dealt with uh, for the lightning shrine actually oh dear what do I have that's metal? You. Alright, we'll equip one of those for now. Uh, and weapons? Sure, I'll equip that one. I do not want to be shocked by lightning. Doesn't seem like my idea of a fun time. <laughs> Whoa! Ah... Uh. The bane of my existence. Weather in this game. I'm like, this right here is an overhang. It should protect me, but apparently not. Oh, and it looks like it's going to rain forever. So how do I get up? Right here. How dare you? Nope. Come on. Gotcha. No, Link. You did not need to fire that extra arrow. Alright, this I think is roughly the tail. I guess this river continues. To here. So this would be the tail. So in here is where we're going. Luckily all the lights are on and it w working and whatnot. I don't know how no one has found this before. Well, I guess the upheaval would have been uh, what changed. This looks like a chair rather than a place to offer something, but whatever.
looks cool. Okay. Cool. I tried exploring those islands a while ago and was very unsuccessful. <laughs> Caleb, did you see that? Lightning struck that dragon pillar too. Huh? Is someone in those ruins? <clears throat> oh, it's you again. We think a terrible lightning strike hit here, but I'm glad to see you weren't hurt. Oh. I've never seen lightning strike like that. And even stranger, the dragon statue's ice... Eyes seem to glow just before it. Link, you know anything about this? Fill us in on what happened. <laughs> Unbelievable! A mechanism in these ancient ruins got rid of the thunderclouds and revealed some new sky islands? Mm. Great catch! Another amazing discovery on the books, in fact, I'd say. <laughs> it's the hull of the century. Oh. It's a significant discovery, to be sure. I'd like to go investigate further, but we have no way of getting up there. Uh, you're right. That doesn't make it any less exciting, though. We need to report this to Pura, right away. Oh. Caleb, I'm going back to Kakariko Village. I want to write up the recent re events around the floating ring ruin in a report for Pura. You should stick around here to conduct a thorough investigation. Find out if, there's, if there are any more discoveries to be made. Uh. What? Remain here? You mean, alone? Uh. Yes. Even if we can't get up to the sky, there's so much to discover on the land. It's our duty to unravel all of it. You can do this, Caleb. Uh, he wants me to investigate alone. Fieldwork isn't my strongest suit, but this may be my chance to make a historic discovery. <laughs> right. Leave this to me, Taro. I'll begin preparing at once. I'll need to head back to our base of operations for a bit first. All right, that tells us to now go to those sky ruins, or sky islands. How did we get there before? Oh, yeah, the tower. That'll work. Oh, I could have grabbed that Zonai device. Totally forgot about it until I was teleporting away. I kind of assumed it would have been used up in that ritual. Anything further you want to say, Callop? Of course it's raining. Yeah. Oh, it's you. I see you found my base of operations for surveying. The new Sky Island you discovered were an amazing find. I'd love to explore them myself, but we have no way of getting up that high. If only I could fly. Think of all the research breakthroughs I could make. Oh, yes. What was I saying? I lost myself in thought there. Since last we met, I've been keeping up my investigation of the ruins. No doubt an amateur ruins enthusiast like you is curious how that's proceeding. Sad to say, it's a bit early for that now. The investigation is still underway. Even now, I'm hard at work processing everything I've learned, not resting idly, as some dullards might believe. Yes, this is my chance to do some solo work. I'll get results, and with them, recognition at last. It's interesting that they say they have no way of getting up there, wish they could fly, etc. And I'm like, can't you guys use this? Does it require the pura pad? Because the first time did, of course. I guess since we're in the air, we'll briefly put on our air gear. Though it looks ridiculous whenever I'm wearing it in a cutscene.
Okay, so we could land on that lower one and then ascend up to the top. But I think I can just reach this top one as is. Okay. Lightning strikes, always fun. Let's see. Just a quick check to see if there's anything of interest. I'm occasionally getting vibrations in the controller. But I don't know what it's trying to indicate. I'm wondering if the sensor is briefly blipping that there's a treasure chest. I'm just not noticing it quickly enough. No, that doesn't vibrate the hands, it just beeps. Okay. Well, this is the direction of the chest, clearly. Uh, scary. Ow. Jerk. I guess the chest is still farther ahead that way. Unless it's down there. But from down there we can ascend up, probably. What is the point of these cubes? Looks like a puzzle to be solved. But I don't see anything obvious that needs them. We've got another cube over here. Or maybe I'm supposed to just move them around to be... Attacked. Well, we can go up here. There's an enemy to fight. Let's see if there's anything else of note. And there is not just an enemy to fight. <laughs> Goodbye. Come on, you dropped your weapon, but you didn't drop any of your good loot. What do we have down here? Anything of interest? No. All right, then. This has multiple layers, so I'm going to go down from the bottom. Make sure I don't miss anything. Because our chest that we're being notified of could be anywhere on here. Thinks it's this way. Well, that would be awkward. I mean, I could definitely go back there from up higher, I suppose. Take this to the top. Yeah, there's the chest. We can see it. 
So I'll have to come back here afterwards. No, attack this direction. <laughs> Not even close. Let's see what weapon would I want to use? I can't use the Master Sword because it's of the electricity. Alright, don't knock him off. <laughs> My whole team just gangs up on him. Oh, we haven't gotten any fours yet. Soldier Construct Four Horn. How about that? I was thinking three was the highest level. You're giving me a mighty spear and a level four item. Well, I'm certainly not going to say no to that. Let's drop the scepter because I really don't care for them. So we've got mighty zonite sword or Mo mighty zonite spear. We'll grab the sword, actually. And then if we go to equipment, you... Drop you on the ground. Fuse onto the mighty Zonite sword. 34 damage for a one-handed sword. Yeah, I won't say no to that. While we're still in electricity areas, I'll just keep using this, though. Alright, and we can just ascend back up through here. back to where we were supposed to be. Now you... I think we actually found this before and launched ourselves forward with it. Alright, we got another chest ahead of us somewhere. Yeah, it's amazing how much easier it is to get through here when you can actually see. <laughs> grab... Nope, not you. You. No. Easiest way to collect fish. Not really a good way of getting up there. So I guess I go down there and then ascend up. Or is there an ascend point below? Not really. There is an island down there. Anything of interest? Not that I'm seeing. And I don't think I could ascend from there. So yeah, let's go to this island. And we'll 
I'll head up top. There was one of those, like, floating around, walking on the air lightning guys. Around here, I thought. Topaz. Meh. You. We'll want to deal with him. Ow. No, no, no. So, obviously, water isn't what affects him. I thought there would be some element that would insta-kill him. Uh, I have lost sight of him. There he is. There we go. You're dealt with. Let's eat some food. I need to do some more cooking. I'm tempted, actually, to put some of those, like, recall spots that we can set up in the cave. Just so you guys know where I've gotten a lot of my uh, hearty stuff from. Up here, is it? No. Now I don't remember. There's a mushroom cave we found at one point. I don't think it's here. Definitely not that far. It's somewhere over here. There's a mushroom cave. That every blood moon uh, respawns the hardy truffles. So I've gone back there a few times to repick that up. So I might put one of those teleport spots directly into that cave to make it easier. I haven't yet, obviously. Okay, we've got another chest over here. Oh, don't fall. Uh, did I hear an enemy? Thought I did. Huh. I assume, yeah, we've got a chest down there. So, you need to be struck by electricity, which means this needs to blow up. Probably. Theoretically, I might be able to throw a lightning fruit at that. But I'm guessing it's supposed to just get struck on its own now. Let's see if it works. No. <laughs> oh, that's another one of the level four horns. I should collect that. What do we got? We've got... Speaking of blood moons. One guy over there, and one guy up here. Oh. Gotcha. Don't fall off. <laughs> Watch out, guys. You're going to knock him off. Uh, 
technically, I think all of his gear stayed on there. This other one, I think, his stuff is lost. But yeah, level four horns, I don't want to just lose them. Seems like the lightning doesn't want to strike here. How can I encourage it? I cannot see. Any way I can attach this? No? Lightning cubes? That's a fair idea. There aren't any directly here. Yeah, we know. Let's see, were there any lightning cubes over there? Not that I'm seeing. Let's go up top. I can get over to the other island without having to worry about accidentally falling off. Something got struck. Could I ascend from below? No. So that's not a method either. Free branch, don't care. I mean, at some point it should just get struck on its own. Hopefully. And then I hope the door just stays open permanently. There's definitely no... Lightning cubes lying around. Let's go up top. Not that weapon. Goodbye, weapon. you taken care of. Still no lightning cubes. You're only a level three. <laughs> only knew that level fours existed just recently and already I'm like, level three is garbage. <laughs> doesn't appear to have been struck. Okay, we'll just assume that's not the way at the moment. So we've got some rail cars here, or rail lines. 
Hang on. Are you metal? Yes, but you are stuck on the cart. Fine. You are metal regardless, though. I will bring you back in a bit. But for now, I have need of you. Come on. <laughs> I don't think dropping it down through the hole would even work. There we go. Maybe? I'll take it. Standing and holding a sword, that would be a foolish choice. At some point I need to look up all of these locations. But alright. We've finally succeeded, so let's head on back up. And let's grab this, drop that weapon, because I don't need it. Get this away from me so I don't accidentally drop it on myself or electrocute myself with it all right so now for you I can't actually lift it high enough <laughs> Nope, too far. There we are. Except I'm gonna get struck if I try and ride that over. Lightning is for sure gonna... Hmm. Didn't think about that. Alright, then what if... want you... There... Put an insulator on top. There. Something like that. No batteries lying around, unfortunately. We'll see if this works. Pretty slow, but it seems to be working.
And luckily, I've got lots of battery at this point. Obviously, would like more, but... <laughs> it's enough for my current purposes. Do I want to deal with you? Probably not in the rain with the lightning and all that. Seems like that would just add difficulty to those encounters that are already pretty challenging. Stand on insulator? I suppose, but no. Whoa. Theoretically make food here. Well, there's a lightning box. That would have been useful earlier. Shrine. Wish it would tell me from a distance what level these are. Because there's like three different levels of them. And if it was fight a level one, I'd be like, alright, I can probably handle that. But if it's fight a level three, I cannot handle that. <laughs> I mean, I have, in fact, beaten a level three before, but it's tough. Shock emitter. That's definitely what I'm needing, is more shock around here. Okay, so in the case of this, I don't see a good way in from over here. Might be able to get in from that cart down there. Is there... I doubt that's close enough that I would be able to ascend up through it. This doesn't overhang anywhere, it looks like. There's no good way of getting to there. Hmm... So I can obviously get on top of this platform, but then I don't have any way up there. So I guess we go down there? Let's see if that gets me anywhere useful. Remember back when I had like 200 arrows? Those were the good old days. That is not the weapon to use. A much better weapon to use. Another mighty zonite shield. Oh, you jerk. hammer to break all these. Lots more arrows. 
Mighty Zonite Sword. We'll definitely be taking that. What do I want to throw away? Hmm. Maybe you. Anything on this side? Okay. That's everything down here. Uh, you can stop that. Thanks. I never use her ability. Oh, I should have used her ability. That's how I could have shocked that. Yeah, okay. I have someone with me who wields electricity, and I'm just like, how do I make electricity strike where I need it to? Come on, me. Oh, dude. So, I need to be in a cart. Slide along this, and when I'm below that, ascend up from my moving vehicle. I think. Goodbye. Trying to not lose him. Well, I could make basically the same structure out of wood. Hopefully it's durable enough. It's just a club. Okay. Alright. That's that. I'm gonna grab a fan. Alright. Rotate you around. There. We'll get the ascend ready. Because it looks like if I take it all the way to the end, I'm effectively getting to that battle. There we go. Just mashing the ascend button. Alright, we'll just hop into the shrine first, then we can explore this room afterwards. But I want to make sure this is available for teleportation before I do something dumb and lose it. It's another one of these where I lose all my equipment. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. Short circuit. All they're giving me is a wooden spear and wooden club. Okay. I'll take both of those. Got you. All 
right, if we go to here and I drop you. We'll finish off this soon enough. And switch to you. Good. One single shock fruit. Come on. Okay, so I've got three shock fruit. They're calling this short circuit. So obviously the shock fruit are going to be important. Ow. And more appropriately, this thing will be important. Ow. Huh. Kind of expected this to be shooting out beams or something. Nope, nope, let go. They seem to interact with each other, where shocking one nearby shocks the others. Uh, you're going to be a problem, because if I ascend up here, which I can do, if I attack him with the electric club, it'll definitely electrocute me. So let's switch back to this. Yeah. Alright, see you, pseudonym. Your equipment will be returned to you. Overall, not bad. And our secret chest is always not secret in these, so we'll just grab it. Shock resistance. Certainly has its place here. <laughs> oh, and I'm still wearing my flying gear. Which is definitely not what I need. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. Yeah, should definitely be putting on the gear we just got that gives us strength in storms. <laughs> 